Instead of finding shell payloads off of GitHub or creating them from scratch, we can use the MSF Venom tool to easily create almost any shell payload that we can think of. If we type MSF Venom H, we can get a list of all the options to use with the tool. The most important option is the dash P or payload option, which lets us specify the payload that we want to run. To list all of our possible payloads, we can type MSF Venom L payloads. However, this list is very long and may be confusing when you first look at it. So I recommend checking out any MSF Venom cheat sheet like this one if you're just getting started. And I'll cover some of the most common payloads that you'll be using with you now. If you're looking to create a meterpreter reverse shell in the form of a Windows executable, we can do that by typing one of these two commands. The difference between these two commands is that the first one that has a forward slash in between meterpreter and reverse TCP uses a stager. This basically means that the reverse shell payload comes in two parts, the first part that initially gets executed and downloads the rest of the payload and runs it, as opposed to the second option which has the entire payload ready to go in the initial executable. The reason you would want to separate your payload into multiple stages is to be more evasive and potentially bypass security controls. In the rest of the command, we set our local host to our IP address. So in the case for me, it would be 10.0.2.5. And then we set the local port to whatever port that we're gonna be listening on to catch the reverse shell. For example, we could use 7777. Then we're gonna use the dash F command to format the payload as an executable. And then we're gonna write this all to shell.exe. If we wanted to make a simple reverse shell on Linux that gets put into an executable file, we could run one of these two commands. Or if we wanted a simple PHP reverse shell, we could run this command here. 